Hi, and welcome to another episode of Haltex Technically Speaking. Today, we're going to be having a look at our TDC offset angle, otherwise known as our trigger angle, in our Elite Series ECU. We're going to be using our 2JZ test engine as our test bed. Now, before we can talk about our TDC offset angle, we need to understand a little bit about our four-stroke engine. So, in order for the engine management system to determine how fast the engine is spinning, as well as at what position the engine is in, this engine is fitted with what's called what we call a trigger system. Now, this Toyota 2JZ VVTi engine actually has a fairly advanced trigger system. So, on the crankshaft of the engine, it's got 36 teeth with two missing. On the inlet camshaft, it's got three teeth spaced 90 degrees apart. Now, with that information, we know exactly how fast the engine is spinning, and we know which cylinder is coming up to top dead center compression in order to fire sequential injection and direct fire ignition. Now, remembering that the TDC in TDC offset angle stands for top dead center offset angle. Now, with this 2JZ being a four-stroke engine, so that includes the intake, the compression, the power, and the exhaust stroke, so the, the four strokes that we refer to, it's very, very important to know whether the engine is coming up to top dead center compression or top dead center exhaust. Now, the way that we do this with this engine is by identifying the missing teeth on the crankshaft, then comparing that to the teeth coming through, or the, the trigger teeth coming through on the camshaft. Once we've determined that we've counted all the teeth on the crank, we've then counted all the teeth on the camshaft, we've truly identified the trigger system. From this position, we then need to synchronize the ECU with the engine. We refer to this as our TDC offset angle. So what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna try and, well, first of all, we're gonna turn the fuel off on the engine so that we don't flood it. We're gonna use a timing light and have a look at where the timing is firing on the crankshaft. We're then going to adjust our TDC offset angle until the timing on the engine management system is showing the same as the timing through our timing light. Now, in order to set our TDC offset angle, I'm just going to go into our fuel setup and disable the injectors, just so the engine doesn't want to try and start. The next thing I'm going to do is go to our ignition setup, lock the ignition timing at zero degrees. Now, that means that the engine management system is always trying to fire the ignition timing at zero degrees, regardless of any mapping or any ignition corrections. Okay, so all that's left to do is to crank the engine. Now, I have left our TDC offset angle or our top dead center offset angle at the default value of 70. Remembering that this number can be anything from zero to 720 degrees. So let's turn the ignition on. Remember the fuel's turned off, so we shouldn't get any banging or coughing and let's check where the timing is firing. Okay, so from looking at the video, the first thing you'll notice is we can't actually see where the timing is firing. So that means that it's firing somewhere on the bottom side of the balancer. So there's a couple of different things that we could do. We could either be adjusting our TDC offset angle upwards by about 90 degrees at a time until we get it in the ballpark and we can start to fine tune it from there. Alternatively, because it's a four stroke engine, we've locked the timing at zero degrees, which means that it's gonna be firing at zero on the crankshaft. It's also gonna be firing at the two zero marks on the camshaft. So on this engine, we've got them marked with some white liquid paper. Uh, they're the zero positions. They're typically the same spot where the timing belt would be aligned to put a new timing belt on. So we're just gonna do exactly the same thing using our timing light to see if we can see where the timing is firing on the cam gears. Okay, so now that we've done that, I can see that the timing mark is firing about 360, it's firing right at the bottom. So we're actually a long way from our zero point. So the first thing that I can do is add about 360 degrees to our TDC offset angle. Once I press apply, we'll give it another crank. We'll check the crankshaft to see if we're starting to get in the ballpark. And then we'll also have a quick look at the cam gears again. Okay. 
Okay, on the crankshaft, I can notice now that it's somewhere at about sort of 30 degrees advanced, give or take. On the camshafts. We can see that our white mark is firing pretty close here. The next thing I'm gonna do to get us a little bit closer, I'm gonna bring our trigger angle up or our TDC offset angle up a little higher. So about 515 I'm at now. We'll give it one last crank and see where we are. Okay, that's showing me the zero mark on the harmonic balancer lining up right on the zero mark on the timing cover case. Let's have a look up the top here on the cam gears. They're lining up right over the top of the timing marks as well. So that gives me confidence to know that we are now firing at zero to degrees, cylinder one, top dead center compression. The other thing that this helps me to identify is if the timing belt's on correctly. If the timing belt's out of tooth, I'm gonna see it because the zero mark will still line up at zero. The exhaust cam, for example, might line up perfectly, whereas the intake cam might be out of tooth. So this is a really good way to help diagnose if the timing belt's on correctly. As always, thanks very much for watching. If you're interested in learning more about ignition timing or variable cam control, like what's fitted to this Toyota VVT 2J engine, you may wanna check out the two-part series in the links below, where we cover how the engine management system controls the cam timing, uh, as well as how variable cam control actually works. My name's Scott, and thanks for watching.